an app met zeven nullen. To, to tell you about my experience as being the, the crisis manager, the flu commissioner for, for Belgium and, and, and highlighting the communication. And then you have one opportunity to do it right. And day one is so important. Uh, in day one you start your communication with the press, with the people, and, uh, and you have to do it right. I mean, you have to go for one voice, one message. Dronken sigaret. Een app met zeven nullen. One voice, one message. One voice, one message. One voice, one message. One voice, one message. Dronken sigaret. One voice, one message. One voice, one message. One voice, one message. Een app met zeven nullen. One voice, one message. One voice, one message. One voice, one message. Dronken sigaret. One voice, one message. One voice, one message. One voice, one message. In Belgium, they chose to uh, appoint a non-politician to do that. I mean, I have no party affiliations, and that makes things a little bit, at that time at least, a little bit easier, because you're not you're not attacked politically. Majority, minority, uh, that doesn't come into play, and that was a huge advantage. The second advantage is that you can play in Brussels the complete naive guy, and, uh, and get a lot more done than you would otherwise be, uh, be able to do. You have to be omnipresent that first day or the first day, so that you attract the media attention, uh, you, you make an agreement with them that you will tell them all, and and if they call, you will pick up the phone. When you do that, then you can profit from these early days to, uh, to get complete part of the field. And they're not going to search for alternative voices there. And if you do that, that makes things uh, a lot easier. And then you have to say, okay, well, we will have H1 and 1 deaths. Of course, that would be unavoidable. Uh, I used their Sir Donaldson's uh, quote, where he said that in UK, by the peak of the epidemic, 40 people would die uh, per day uh, at the end of the summer. Uh, so, 62 at that time, million people in UK, 40 deaths a day, I worked it out for Belgium, that would be 7 deaths a day at the peak of the epidemic. I used that in the media, 7 Belgian flu uh, deaths per, uh, per day at the peak of the epidemic would be realistic. That is true in every year, even in the evening for pandemic. Like, uh, that, that is very, very conservative. Uh, however, talking about fatalities is important because when you say that, people start saying it. They were important, and then I misused the uh, the fact that the uh, the top top football soccer clubs in Belgium um, inappropriately uh, and against all uh, agreements vaccinated their uh, they made their soccer players priority people. So I said I can use that because if. The, the population really believed that this, this vaccine is so desirable that even the soccer players would be dishonest to get their vaccine. Uh, I, I said, okay, I can, I can play with that. So I made a big fuzz about this. An app with 7 nullen. 